So fresh picked mint, rosemary, and thyme. Those will be added in. So these are the ingredients I'm gonna be using. Well, nearly all the ingredients. There'll be salt and pepper. Here's the fresh herbs, carrots. There's a mixture of red and white onions in this. But the first thing I do is the big pot is on the aga. And this is the homemade butter. Chop a big chunk of that. Woo! It keeps falling out of my fingers. And melt that down first. So that's the first thing in this oxtail stew. So here are the oxtails. They were in this package. And I'm gonna cut the string off them. One string, two string. This is a stew that I grew up with because we couldn't afford, my grandparents couldn't afford posh meat. So we had this kind of meat, which is oxtail stew. It was really, really delicious. And you let it stew, the longer you let it stew, the more delicious it is. So it's, there's a mixture of butter, carrots, onions, rosemary. Um, so you can see the decreasing size in the oxtail. So this is a meal that I grew up with and love. The other one that I didn't love so much was tongue. I didn't like tongue. And I, I'm not a huge liver eater either. But oxtail stew, when, it, the, when it's getting cold, this is one of the most delicious dishes. And you let it stew for a long, long time. So, there we go. That's the last of it. That is the oxtail stew. Sorry, the oxtail. Then, bring it over here. The butter is on. That's the first thing to go in. Gotta break these bits up that are kind of stuck together. And it's one of those stews you let stew for a long, long time. So, there's butter in there, but there will also be the fat from the oxtail as well. There. So it slowly get all of its edges. See a little bit of browning. Somebody must be calling. There, you can see a little bit of browning. There's a little bit of browning. And if you have a good butcher, they can get you oxtail. And it really is one of the most delicious, nutritious dishes because you get all kinds of fat, you get the cartilage stewed, and the inside of the bone stewed. And it's an absolutely delicious dish. So, and you can see there's that's brown. It's just browning all the edges. Yeah. I'm gonna brown those edges before I put in the carrots, the um, onions, and the herbs, and the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then it goes briefly into the hot oven, and then it'll go into the long, slow oven. So I'll keep doing this. So these have browned off beautifully, kind of sealing off the um, flavors of the meat in each section. So... Now, 
Now, I basically, oh, that's a bit of rotten onion, and that's a bit of rotten onion. Um, basically, I chop my onions kind of chunky. So that's the onions going in. And the last little bits. Then here's the carrots going in. I'll mix it again later. So that's the first mix. Then um, I'll put the herbs on. I need to do the salt and pepper first. These are juniper berries. I add them in, as you can see, and cloves. So those are cloves, and then those are juniper berries. So I add a few of them in like that. Then I will just put in Herbs, whole herbs like that. This is the thyme, the mint, and the rosemary. So that's the, this is the mint, this is the rosemary, and then these little ones are the thyme. So that is now going to get the lid on it. So here's the lid. So there we go, there's the lid. I'm gonna leave it cook on there for a few more minutes and then it's gonna go in the top right oven, which is the hot oven for 20 minutes. You can hear it sizzling away. So this is the perfect moment to put it in the top right hand. But see, this oven is not big enough itself out before I put put it up on the top before I put the big stew pot in there. So there we go. In she goes and she'll be in this the roasting oven for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Gotta close the lid, preserve the heat, put the kettle on for when I need. This keeps the kettle kind of pseudo warm so I can make a cup of tea whenever I want. So I've taken it out of the top right-hand AGA oven and I'll give it a little, a little mix. You can see bits are beginning to cook. The herbs are kind of wilted. So I will now, I'm gonna give it a drop of water to make delicious gravy. Then put the lid back on. There we go. Now it's gonna go in there in this top um, oven. So I've gotta turn the video off because I can't do, I don't have three hands and that takes two hands to put in the aga so oven. So here we go for about five or six hours gonna just sit in there and stew. There we go. Now off outside to do some more farm work. So now for some oxtail stew. I've got some lovely mashed potatoes and pile on the oxtail stew particularly the juice, the yum, 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 yum juice. Oh, I love this juice. Oxtail juice, there's nothing like. So there, a good big plate of oxtail stew.